Well, welcome back to the Undervalued Investor YouTube channel, where today we're uncovering the growth that has been deriving Cellsci Corporation, a drug developer in head and neck cancer with a focus on a drug called Multikine that we're going to be exploring as this is a company we've followed about three months ago and since then is up 166%, basically since the October low for around $141 million market cap. This trades on the New York Stock Exchange under CVM. And if this is a conversation you'd appreciate, as always, just consider hitting that like button because, again, they are looking at a head and neck cancer cancer treatment called Multikind that has been going beyond phase three into marketing and approval right now that is just absolutely stunning on the results this drug has been achieving. We're going to read through this in the recent uh, update on their kind of financial results and clinical and corporate development. So let's just get into this. Celsi identified the target of head and neck cancer patient population for Multikind that will be the basis for the company's regulatory filings for marketing clearance. The new data were presented at the European Society of Medical Oncology Congress. The target population, which saw its five-year risk of death cut in half, can be identified prior to surgery upon diagnosis with the test that the physicians routinely use in cancer screening. A key finding for Multikine, which is neojuvient uh, therapy, a summary of Multikine's results in the targeted population include the following. 73% survival for Multikine versus 45% in the control at five years. 28% absolute survival benefit. Uh, basically significant uh, increase in hazard ratios, tumor reduction rate, 13%, and tumor down uh, staging, uh, basically 35%, no safety signals or uh, toxicities versus the standard care. And I just can't, uh, you know, emphasize that enough. No safety signals or toxicities versus the standard of care. Uh, basically target population of an estimated 145,000 patients uh, global on an annual who present with this uh, no uh, nodal involvement and no uh, extra uh, capsular uh, spread and a low PDL1 uh, tumor expression. But getting a little bit deeper into this, I just want to read through that they had this making a major milestone toward the regulatory approval and the UK's National Institute for Health and Care of Excellence selected multi-kind to be evaluated as the potential new standard of care uh, squamous cell uh, carcinoma of the head and neck. Uh, basically, the NICE posted a detailed report from the UK's National Institute for Health and Care and Research regarding Multikine, its clinical data, and its potential to become a better standard of care in treating newly diagnosed head and neck cancer in the UK. This published report informs the UK doctors, patients, and others interested uh, or other interested parties that NICE has started the review of Multikine and is soliciting public comment. So they got a lot going on um, in the European side of this, but also they expect to submit the target population out of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, and Health Canada in Q1 of 2024. Health Canada advised CELSI uh, to request advanced consideration for approval under notice of compliance and uh, condition policies, uh, which would lead the commercialization as early as 2024 if approved. The target population data um, have also been submitted to the European uh, Medicine Agency with the scientific um, advice, um, advice meeting expected for the first half of 2024. So this company is basically on this, they've laid all the groundwork, they've gone through the, the mass backlog of studies and data, or data at this point to really start propelling this, and they're really starting to uh, put this in the forefront of, uh, you know, multiple countries, um, you know, healthcare systems. And finally, the company also announced a $5 million public offering of common stock. So the company is building up uh, what looks to be a bit of a cash position to help propel them as well through 2024. So they seem to be in a very um, good spot. I mean, the stock has rallied back, you know, they've done a public offering about two 0.49 million shares here. And again, raising approximately 5 million before deducting underwriting uh, discounts and offering expenses. So Celsi, I do believe, um, has really put itself in a position um, to really start solving these massive problems that are plaguing society when it comes to head and neck cancer. And I think this is a stock that looks like it can continue to move forward here, but we'll pass that question off to you. We'd love to know what you think about this in that comment section below.